I yeah, I have really not that much interest in doing the third person only stuff all the time. I like to see what the character looks like, but most of the time, you know, you'd be walking around and and then you go inside somewhere and the camera clips out. Well, too bad. Time to hit the road. Not really, no. Sure thing. Let's see. I mean, the deliverer is really good. Twenty-five. Uh, probably Deacon benefits more from a rifle than anything else. We could see if we can score. Um, let's yeah, let's see if we can make this into a rifle. You've got a real knack for destruction. Yep. This is a quote unquote rifle. It does use well, it just uses adhesives. Um I'm not hundred percent sure what he'll benefit from. But that's I'm sure about as good as it gets. Look alive. Yeah? Loading up or loading off? Yeah, whatever you say, you crazy asshole here. It's funny that you were able to use this thing without any bullets. He has a normal rifle, then when we go through Tradecraft, he picks up an Institute pistol, and he uses that without bullets for the rest of the game. That's really weird. Interessante. Get out of the way, Deacon. We gotta cook up some of this crap here. You gonna jump in game? All right, take it easy, Dash. If you're if you're up, I might throw up a host for you. So this is where the circuitry is gonna be. I can't remember if we actually stripped all the stuff out of here yet or not, but I'll grab it up if we haven't. Properly fed, more like properly dead. Do unarmed blitz with no. Unarmed builds with no blitz or power armor sound appealing. They can be, but you got to remember that you have to close the distance really quickly. Um, so remember, um, remember the sheriff. Did you were you here for that? So the sheriff had to basically do that. Only he was using. He was doing. Um, what do you call it? Uh big leagues, he was doing melee weapons rather than um, rather than fists. So, I mean, you know, if you want to go full unarmed, you really are going to have to, you know, boost your strength. I mean, all that stuff is going to be useful, but let's say that you didn't use Blitz, but you still used Vats, okay? You probably won't benefit from Ninja. You probably won't benefit from Sneak. You, um, let's see. You will benefit from Bloody Mess, from Lone Wanderer 2, 3, and Iron Fist 5, and Rooted. And what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to be able to still go into Vats if, if you're doing Rooted. Because Rooted will do the attacks um, from Vats, whether you're Blitzing or not, and you'll still benefit from the 50% more damage here. Um... And then if you get Iron Fist 5, criticals in VATS will paralyze the opponent. So you take, you know, Charisma 4, Strength as high as you can get it, Endurance as high as you can get it, and then later on you want to go up into your luck and benefit from all these crits. Because when you paralyze with the Stun Baton, it gives them like a 1-2 second paralysis. When you paralyze with Iron Fist, if you do a critical hit in Iron Fist, um, it will actually paralyze them for like five seconds or even ten seconds. So you can sit there in VATS and go bop, bop, bop. As soon as you get a critical, you use it. Exit VATS with t with tab, which you can do. Um, you don't have to use all the VATS hits every single time. Like, for instance, say you're shooting at somebody and they are just slowly running behind a building. You can cancel the rest of the VATS shots so you're not shooting at the wall. But then if you take this stuff, like Four Leaf Clover or Grim Reaver Sprint or Critical Banker, Better Criticals, etc., 
you could use your VATS attacks with your fists and really, really, really lay into a guy. When I was doing... Um, when I was testing Tamika Flynn, which is a build we never really got to, she was an unarmed Blitz character, but you don't have to necessarily use Blitz, but you need to be able to defend yourself in some way. You have to close the distance somehow. Um, so whether it's sprinting up on them and taking moving target and so you don't take damage while you're running up on them, or whatever. Can't take Hot Rodder. Fuck, we took all the circuitry out of here. Never let you guard down. Well, there's one more place we can get circuitry in here. Oh, apparently I have the tape on my person. Let's get some circuitry out of this thing. Um, I, I'm not planning on putting the whole Sheriff build up on the internet. I was just going to put up a build video that explained how it works. This guy ought to have a fair amount of circuitry on him. Yep, two military circuit boards. Good times. This little box usually has a military circuit board too, but I guess I stripped it out. I don't know where I put it though. I wonder if I have some shit in Sanctuary that I need to pull and take over there. Does gun bashing perk have any upside? You know, I've always kind of thought about that. If I was going to do a gun bashing perk, I wonder if you could... Um, so there's... Okay, so there's a modification that you can put on a minigun. It's called the Ripper or something like that. The bladed something something. Now I think... The, the way that that works is that that's the version of bashing or whatever for that gun. I don't really know for sure. Um, it would be worth a test if you feel like booting it up and, and, you know, using some console commands here and there. But it's possible that hammering down on the, uh, on the uh, spin with, a, and like a, you know, firing a minigun with no bullets so that it just spins... It's possible that you can walk up to somebody and basically use that thing like a chainsaw right on their face. And I bet that it benefits from Basher before it benefits from Big Leagues. Basher is a pretty bad perk. It's not very good. Um, it takes your AP. It never gets to be very strong. But if you could somehow, if, if, the, if the minigun spin thing is affected by Basher, it might be a really good early game thing that you can do. Go and get the minigun from USAF Olivia or from Concord. Come back here, put the like the spinner thing on it, and it might might be useful. God, I forgot we didn't even scrap Sanctuary. I don't know why the hell we didn't do this. This would almost certainly solve all of our problems. I mean, there's circuitry everywhere in here. Well, maybe not everywhere, but it's there some places yeah we kind of just like kicked through this area as fast as possible uh let's see i don't think there's any in here right now but yeah we almost certainly could go through scrap the shit out of this place take it down there let's yeah let's build the reflector platform down there METN used the minigun spin in his melee run. Does that really count as a melee run if you're using a gun the whole time? Um, Nyx plays, we're using the gauge's armor. It's uh, the armor that the companion gauge wears when you first meet him in Nuka World. You can just basically assign him any other piece of equipment and he'll wear it while you get to take his stuff with you. And the reason we're wearing it is because it's fairly sturdy. Scrapping settlements isn't fun. Yeah, it's not too great. I mean I like it because it puts me in as it put me puts me in a Zen mod mode. But uh anything I can do? You just say the word. You know, it probably doesn't even make sense to build this shit down here. I mean, there's some stuff kicking around here, but it's not like the most amount of 
shit ever is like in this area. I guess there's crystal and things like that. I just wonder if it would make more sense to just build it somewhere closer. Closer to where we actually need to go. Be constantly trying to kill us, but the common But to hell with it. Thanks, dog me. You build it, now you gotta go talk to Tinker Tom. And I don't think he walks all the way up here. I think I gotta go all the way back down to the railroad HQ. I'm gonna store all this junk in here. And then... I'll take an hour nap and see if they've moved. I don't think they have, though. Nope, we go right back to the way we came. Straight shot, more or less. It was more of a no bullets run. Yeah, I mean, it, the funny thing is that I think people played this game and they're like, yeah, using the, the guns is like where it's at. The melee weapons are shit. Like they all, I think they all think that, and I think they also all use a stealth sniper rifle character, and they never try anything else ever, which is so sad because this game is so much fun when you do stuff that's like not what you'd normally expect to do. You know, you go through the game with your fucking assault rifle, and you never ever use like down the sights. You only ever hip fire, and you take the hip fire perk, and suddenly the hip fire is as good as looking down the sights, but it's like more. It's more like playing Resident Evil or something like that. It's a whole nother game. People are weird, man. They're like, I'm a level 1-800-and-80. It's like, dude, aren't you fucking bored? And they're like, aren't you? And I'm like, no, because I play a different game every time. You've been playing the same game for a year. You're crazy. Yeah, you could do power armor and melee. You could totally do... You know, you could totally do... No power armor no armor and just use the blitz and and you do great you know if you were stiff you were just doing melee you can do power armor and fists you can do no power armor and blitz and fists i mean technically speaking you could do no power armor no armor no blitz and still use fists you could probably pull it off it's not a you know it's not like the game is like unbelievably impossibly hard in any particular way but Giant mosquito asshole. <laughs> I hope he does haunt your nightmares, and Deacon, you wacky asshole. I'm going to keep gathering up aluminum and circuitry because I bet those are the two things that the game is going to mostly need me to get. They're going to be like, yeah, of all the things you super need, it's aluminum and circuitry for all these different things. I know that they have weird stuff that I gotta gather up to build the rest of the things, but new to splits build? It would be a hell of a lot easier to do a new to splits build with melee than with iron fist. But if you take, for instance, if you, I don't know, if you're really hardcore into it and you go to Far Harbor, there's two weapons that are good for an, a blitz melee, uh, I mean a blitz unarmed build. Um, what's his name? The, the, the weird, like, Damn it, if I go this way, I'm going to get nuked. The weird um, super mutant that lives in the plane, whatever the fuck his name is, he sells an item called um, the Butcher's Hook, which is a different kind of meat hook. And uh, it's basically a 40% less action point cost hook. Um, I think that's what it is. It might actually be the Grim Reaper Sprint thing where you refill your action points on a critical hit. And if you use that thing, god damn it, I bet fucking what's his name, Bellicentia is in here. Or no, this is, th is this that place? It is that place. I bet there's a legendary rat roach in here too. Somewhere. Come on, son. It's there forever. There we go. 
Hey Deacon, are you gonna at all try to I kill these things? We live to fight another day. And night and day, etc. Yeah, shut up, you. Erickson. Yeah, Erickson. He's he's got the butcher suck. But there's also that crazy ass shipbreaker thing, and I think when you kill shipbreaker, if you're capable of doing it, I would go and get the butcher suck and then use it on shipbreaker. But once you get a, a an unarmed weapon that will do that, refill your action points on a critical hit, so long as you can queue up enough hits to get at least one crit with one you know, full bar of AP. You can do this thing where you go up against an enemy, you VATS attack them with your unarmed. As soon as you get your crit, you use it. Then you exit the VATS attack. Okay. Then you, um, you, he's paralyzed when you have the Iron Fist level 5 or whatever. And you can lay into whatever creature you're trying to kill, Shipbreaker is included. You can just keep laying into them until they start to get back up, then you can queue up your vats again and do the same thing again. You can just keep doing that on anything. When I was doing it with the tested Tamika, she was using just the butcher suck. She wasn't using the weird power fist thing that does the exact same thing. Um, the shipbreaker drops. But I was, I was like consoling up legendary albino death claws and then killing them without taking a hit. I was just doing it over and over and over again. So it doesn't even matter once you get to that point whether you're wearing armor or not, so long as you're only going up against one guy at a time. Now, of course, if you have Blitz, it makes it easier to close the distance. You don't need to worry about getting up close to use your VATS attack. Um, but the thing about the Iron Fist that makes it really not as good as melee when you're doing the Blitz stuff is that when you're doing uh, Blitz melee guy you can take ninja and he'll they'll give you another whatever three i don't know how to put it another whatever uh bonus to your sneak attacks that that goes all the way up to 10 or whatever 10 times damage if you're doing it with um iron fist it gives you the same exact bonus as it does to your guns which is bullshit by the way um, so, a ninja blitz attack with a melee weapon will do 10 times damage, sneak attack damage. And a melee blitz attack with fucking unarmed combat will only give you... Whatever, fucking 3.5 times normal damage. Okay, you guys have fun with that, I'm out of here. You guys are crazy, all you ever do is fight. I got worms. That's what we're gonna call the store. We're gonna specialize in worm farms. I heard something. So? I heard something too. You, you dumb asshole. You never shut up. Hopefully they'll stay gone. Oops. That second shot should have been a hit. Seriously, I'm hitting the fucking stop sign. Let's see if they left anything useful for us. God damn. Somebody was like, your scope skills are the shit. Uh, the time -honored tradition of looting. I'm fucking doing awful. Seems we have a tail. A tail? Uh no, we have a fucking guy in front of us. That's not a tail. I don't know what the hell that is. A horn? Assault rifles suck. They just are hard to get the ammo for. Combat rifle is a hell of a lot easier to keep loaded up, which is why I'm glad that we have one. Because the 5.56 millimeter ammunition I only ever, ever find off of turrets, it seems. Fuck. Well, if he's beeping, it's a good chance he's already found something to blow up. 
Let's see what's in here. Hmm. You know, I could have sworn... Oh, we have to cross the bridge one time. I was going to say, I could have sworn we don't have to ever cross a bridge, but maybe we do. If I cross this bridge, will it take me over there? Nice. Or wait, is that even a bridge? Oh fuck, for some reason I thought I was about to walk straight into a hole for a second there. I suppose I should have fucking ended the stream here at some point, but let's at least get back to the railroad and tell Tom to go fuck his lonely self. This bird doesn't know what the fuck it's doing. for a minute here. A couple of minutes, a minute or two longer than I usually go, but that's okay. The sooner we get to this place, the better off we're going to be. You'd think I could go to that radio tower and broadcast on a certain frequency and be like, hey, uh, the fucking chicken has come home to roost or whatever and get the uh, railroad chumps to show up and be like, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, fuck you, Tinker Tom. Ooh, Mobster75. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, man? Yeah, no, you can't fast travel in survival. Which is fun-ish. I mean, it's not the funnest thing ever. It's just fun-ish. By the way, if anybody sees Create DC, will you please tell them to message me back on Twitter? Goddamn. Or on Twitch or something. I keep meaning to set aside a stream so that I can just do a surprise Diablo 2 stream for him. That's what he wanted me to play. And I kind of, I kind of screwed him out of his... Thing. Ah, stuck. So yeah, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, you wanted to see me play Diablo 2? Let's do it, buddy. Install the shit out of that shit, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it to it. We'll do it together. How many hours of stream we got? No more stopping? Yeah, no, we are gonna stop here in a second. I just wanted to... I just wanted to do the thing. Oh, wait, no, we've got some circuitry there. Oh, good. Hey, Rook. Nobody Thanks gives a so shit. Much. Shut your goddamn mouth. It's my envy. Tom wants you for something. I don't care. I don't care who you think I am. Let's see. You guys want some information that's going to kind of blow your mind here? Damn it, I can't get rid of any of this stuff. What a bummer. I guess I should give Carrington his fucking prototype. Working with compartmentalized information. Is it Skippy! Thank you for that follow. He popped in at the end of the RV run? Well shit. I didn't even s I didn't even see him. Oh, I don't need this anymore either. I guess I should just be selling this stuff to Tinker Tom. Anything that I don't actually want. That stuff has nothing I can do. Total Eclipse of the Heart. But it is a fun time going through and taking. You got too many teeth to be scammed. Based off what Deacon said, I bet you never met a synth before glory. 
That's not true. I hung out with fucking Nick Valentine when I came in here, you jackass. He's like, no, I mean like a real synth. I bet Nick Valentine throws a fucking wrench in their operation. He shows up and they're like, well, fuck, Gen 2 synths are people too. We've been going around killing the shit out of everybody. But little do they know that they've been going around killing the shit out of everybody the whole time. Because when you erase someone's entire fucking existence... Easy. I did it. But there's three... Sure. Uh, I'll get started. Thanks, Tom, you fucking piece of shit. Okay. Oh, wait a second. The whole idea was that I was going to sell him all this bullshit. Now he's walking away. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. I forgot what I was doing. Still over encumbered, even though I dropped all that shit. That's good. It's the mesh. Come here, you bastard. Care? Hey there. I don't care how Tom feels. Uh -huh. Well. Hey, oh god damn it, he's not gonna let me sell sure anything anymore. So radio Hey man, need help with the signal interceptor? No. How are we gonna build every Excuse me. Hey man, need help with the signal interceptor? I guess I can't do anything else. Bastard. I had such a good idea there and it didn't work out. You really walk the freedom trail? By yourself? No. Here, here's this fucking prototype. Desdemona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this. But that's hard Get a little experience there at the end. Training, not, mm. would have been... Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our... Uh, sounds like an important mission. Anything huh. it is. It, 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 you can trust me with this. I'll get... You sound rather convincing. Stalking. All right. Cool, cool story, bro. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to do in here, actually. Would have been cool to sell all that shit to what's his bucket, but oh, that fucking well. See. That makes it out. There's a round on. It was right at the end. That sucks. Would have been super cool. Would have been super cool to take care of that shit. Okay, well, that's a save right there. That's about all I can do.